What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video we're getting hash rates on the 4070 and guess what? It's not looking too bad. But before we get into the video, if you would do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And let's take a listen to what my expectations were about three weeks ago after having confirmed specs on the 4070. Last thing I want to get into with you guys is the 4070 and why I think it's not going to be as good as a 4090 or some of the other 40 series cards when it comes to mining. In fact, it may even be worse than some of the 30s series cards. So, spoiler alert, it's not as good as a 4090 and most algorithms, but there are maybe one or two that outshine a 4090. And you know, as far as it being worse than some of the 30 series, actually, yeah, that, that might be the case in a couple of examples. But overall, I'm actually seeing some pretty good things, and it, it certainly did not start out that way. So the first person to share any hash rates on a 4070 was, uh, I think it was Dizzy Mining. And Dizzy Mining got his hands on one prior to the drivers even being released. And in that video, which is not this one, by the way, uh, the only thing he could adjust really was power. And really, it was not impressive at all. Uh, but then he did get drivers. And shortly after getting drivers, he posted this video where he was getting 728 mega hash at 101 watts on Caspa for an efficiency of 7.137, which unfortunately is not very good. Uh, in fact, it's nowhere close to what you could get out of a 3070. I think a 3070 is like nine and a half mega hash per watt, but this was early. We have had a couple of other people sharing some hash rates and the next video that I saw was by a gentleman who goes by Cha Cha. <laughs> and as you can see, we've got a very high locked core clock and core offset sitting at 250. That, that could potentially go higher, which would increase efficiency even more. But he's getting 768 mega hash at 90 watts, which is an efficiency of 8.1. So we're doing a little bit better here. And then lastly, Oval Board Tech has just posted some hash rates on a few different algorithms, the first one being CASPA. And as you can see, we're getting up over eight, getting closer to eight and a half. And you can see we've got hash rates for Alephium, Dynex, Nexa, Flux, Neoxa, or ProgPal, and ETC. So looking at what he's got here and based off of the core clock, locks that he has it does look like he pushed the core lock pretty much as high as you could go and he's got his core offset um, all the way up to 400 in some cases so i'm kind of surprised to see core clocks locked this high but maybe i shouldn't be but the reason that i say that is because if we take a look at the specs on the 4070, which would be this row here, um, our base clock is coming in at 1920 and our boost clock at 2475. Now that's specifically for the Founders Edition, uh, but there are a few models out there that do have a little bit higher boost clocks than this. But I used my, and for those of you unfamiliar with what we're looking at, this is the TPA calculator, something that I came up with many months ago before we had the 4000 series and the 7000 series. Um, basically just trying to get away from describing the size of our farms in terms of Ethereum hash rates. I wanted a tool that would give me kind of an average over all algorithms on how one card compared to another. And in this example, using the correct specs instead of what was leaked, uh, the 4070 comes in at a score of 97.415, which is basically in between a 3080 and a 3070 Ti. 
And to take it one step further, uh, there was something else that I created to kind of help me predict hash rates on the 4000 series and the 7000 series before we actually had them in our hands. And it's been pretty accurate so far. And using that information from the TPA calculator, I was thinking that the 4070 was not going to perform very great on ETH hash. Um, based on what this was spitting out, we were looking at 58.5 mega hash at about 130 watts with a worse efficiency than a 4090. So you can understand my thought process kind of going into this. However, we have some pleasant surprises. So if you guys are not familiar with I believe it's R over two, could be Rover two, uh, but somebody who has basically been putting in a lot of work for hashrate.no. He got his hands on a 4070 and he has updated some of this information here. And we don't have every single algorithm in here, but we do have probably the most important ones for the time being. So Radiant is getting 1200 mega hash and an efficiency of 11.32 at 106 watts. Well, how does that compare to a 3070? Now, first of all, before we take a look at hash rate.no on a 3070, I want to point out that Radiance hash rate specifically is way far off. So it's showing 815 mega hash at 100, or excuse me, yeah, 114 watts or an efficiency rating of 7.16. But for you guys who have watched the channel, my last video, we went over new overclocks for Radiant specifically. And on a 3070, I was getting, I think 744 mega hash at, uh, you know what, actually, let's just pull up one of my rigs here. So a 3070, on radiant right now getting 722 mega hash at 62 watts and it was actually 744 which is an efficiency rating of i think right at 12 mega hash per watt but at 722 at 62 watts that's more like 10 and a half but definitely way better than what hash rate.no is showing here but uh going back to the 4070 you know, 11.32 is in line with what we're getting out of a 3070. So looking pretty good there. And as far as the other algorithms, let's take a look at Nexa. So 122 mega hash at 173 watts compared to a 3070. And this is showing 73, almost 74 mega hash at 115 watts. Our efficiency is 0.64. But in reality... I get more like 77 mega hash at about 120 watts. So that's also pretty close on the 4070 for Nexa. Now how about Alephium? So Alephium uh, efficiency, really you can't pay attention to that because we're talking about giga hash here, but 1.84 at 116 watts versus a 3070, 1.13 at 66 watts. So yeah, definitely not looking good on Alephium specifically, but check this out. Dynex, 2.9 giga hash or 2,970 2, hashes at 55 watts for an efficiency of 54 hash per watt. Now compare that to a 3070 and we're getting 2.2 at 77 watts and efficiency is basically half, 28.57 hashes. So on Dynex, we've doubled efficiency, which, yeah, I guess really shouldn't be surprising considering the amount of VRAM that we've got on a 4070 being 12 gigs versus, what is this, 8 gigs on a 3070. So, yeah, that's in line with expectations. How about Clore? So on Clore, we're sitting at 0.2 mega hash per watt. And... Yeah, don't have Clore yet for the 4070. Let's take a look at the next one. So Caspa, 461 mega hash at 48 watts for an efficiency of 9.61. I think that's a bit optimistic, but pretty close. Uh, we're sitting at 878 mega hash at 106 watts 
at 8.28. So, yeah, not not better for Caspa on a 4070 than a 3070. Uh, but how about some of the others? So, Octaspace is an ETH hash algorithm, and we're getting 62.26 or an efficiency rating of 0.5 mega hash per watt at 124 watts. And if we take a look at a 3070, 62.34, 0.54, 115 watts. So yeah, they're pretty much a tie. Uh, the 3070 does a little bit better there. So, you know, am, am I gonna rush out and buy a 4070 based on what I'm seeing here? No, I'm probably not, but it is performing a little bit better than my expectations. So going back to the prediction here on ETHash, we thought 130 watts would yield us about 58.5 mega hash. So efficiency is a little bit better than expectations. And in some cases, we're doing better than a 3070. But how about compared to a 4090? So on Radiant, we're getting 12 and a half mega hash per watt versus the 4070 at 11.3. So 4090 is definitely crushing it there. How about a lithium? Uh, 5.56 giga hash at 302 watts. Again, can't really gauge efficiency when we're talking about giga hash per watt. Uh, but going back to the 4070, 1.84 at 116. So yeah 4090 still outperforming it dynex though um as good as dynex is on a 4090 we're still sitting at 47.66 hash per watt on a 4090 compared to 54 hash per watt on a 4070 so we got one in the 4070s side compared to a 4090 out of you know, the four algorithms that we've looked at so far. How about CASPA? So on CASPA, 9.49 mega hash per watt on a 4090 compared to 8.28. And again, I still feel like we're being a bit optimistic on some of these. So I just want to point out to you guys that, you know, the 4070, as far as hash per watt and efficiency compared to a 3070 it looks like we're pretty darn close which is better than my expectation but much lower than efficiency on a 4090 so if you're asking me if i'm going to buy any gpus of the 4000 series what am i going to buy it's probably going to be a 4090 or a 4070 ti I don't think that the 4070 is the best case scenario, but one other thing to consider, and that's hash rate per dollar spent. And in most cases, actually, the 4070 comes in just slightly better than a 4090 does. But yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Do me a favor before you go, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.